Here's a tip that can reduce your disk space usage by two thirds and save you hundreds of dollars a year. DNG lossy compression. DNG files are Adobe's way of storing your raw pictures. You can convert them to DNG. And if you later decide to convert them to this lossy format, that's where you'll realize the savings. And I was afraid of this for so many years because I'll have to throw away parts of my precious raw files. But what I've decided to do is to take all those pictures that get like one star or two star and apply lossy compression to those. And because most of my pictures aren't that great, aren't something that I would share, I don't need for them to consume as much disk space as they necessarily do. The way this works is Adobe uses the JPEG compression algorithm, but does it in a smarter way that doesn't really show any artifacts that you're used to when you see JPEG files. It also stores all of your shadows and highlights so you can recover those later too. So you basically get all the benefits of a raw file with most of the compression of a JPEG file. And I know storage is cheap, but it's not cheap if you're using a laptop that can't easily be expanded and you're running out of space. And it's not cheap if you're uploading all your files to Google Drive for backup and you're paying $10 a month and then another $10 a month and then another $10 a month. So reducing those file sizes doesn't cost you anything and can save you a lot of time and money. So first of all, I'm gonna go into Lightroom and show you the differences between a file with JPEG uh, DNG lossy compression and a file without. So this one on the left does is uncompressed and the one on the right here is compressed. And this is taken with a very sharp lens on a 45 megapixel D850. And so as we zoom in here, now we're at three to one, let's go into eight to one, because I look through a lot of pictures just trying to find one visible difference and I couldn't really do it. The only one picture I could find any visible difference on was this one. And then I really had to get into like eight to one before I could see it. Oh, I'm having a hard time. Oh, there it is. Okay. See this one little ripple in the water right here. If you look at the compressed file, you can see there's like a little bit of extra white around the edges there at eight to one, but at one to one, you don't notice it at any sort of normal viewing distance. You don't notice it. I'm not telling you to use lossy compression on all of your files, but on those files that you don't think have some bright future, but you can't bear to part with, convert them to lossy DNG and you'll save yourself a bunch of space. Here's another example just to prove that all those shadows and highlights aren't lost. Here's a wildly underexposed picture that I had to recover in post. And then you can see these are the uncompressed and the compressed lossy file. And as I you know, zoom way in, I panned all through this picture and many others and just couldn't see any visible difference. So lossy compression, it's pretty good, but I encourage you just do your own tests and convert some of your own pictures, you know, make a backup copy of it, convert it and compare it to the original and see if you can actually see the difference. So if you want to convert your files to lossy compression, um, select your files there. You could select all the photos in your library if you want to, and then go to library, convert photos to DNG, and then on this dialog box, select only convert raw files, select delete originals after successful conversion, select the embed fast load data. You don't need a full JPEG preview and medium is fine. And then select this, use lossy compression. Make sure this last checkbox here is cleared and then click OK. Now Adobe is gonna go through and convert those files, delete your original files only afterwards and you'll have a whole bunch of disk space left over afterwards. You already knew this stuff if you read my Lightroom book right there, it has 14 hours of video. So even if you hate books, you can just decide to watch the video. It's the cheapest Lightroom video training you can get by far at 20 bucks. And it comes with a free book. You can get a paperback book too. And if you get the Lightroom Classic CC version, we will keep updating it as Lightroom updates it. So Lightroom, just released their 7.3 version for free for like for Adobe Creative Cloud subscribers. And guess what? We updated our ebook and gave it to every single registered reader for free too. If you want the book, go to sdp.io slash LR or search for Tony Northrup at Amazon. And if you don't yet have Lightroom, there are lots of benefits to it, including being able to save yourself massive amounts of disk space on those unused raw files. You can pick up a free trial at sdp.io slash Adobe deal. In the comments, I'd love to hear your own experiences with it. And if you have any follow-up questions, go ahead and ask. 
Also subscribe to see more free videos, camera reviews, photography tutorials, and of course, post-processing tutorials. Give me a like. Bye.